and it was just really, really evident that Olivia Weaver had her ducks in order in terms of her tactics, spot on, stuck to it right the way through and really did tear her apart. So a terrific run through this event for Bon Malet of France, 26 years of age. He's down at 32 in the world rankings at the moment, but he has been as high as, well, just inside that top 24. It's been a reasonable run through for him in this event, taking down fellow Frenchman Lucas Selm in 31 minutes in the first round, and then Curtis Mallet of England, also three games to love in 42 minutes. So it's been a good event so far from the Frenchman, but he's up against it here. Yeah, it's a different kettle of fish, really, this match, isn't it? Especially because Staffa Sal will be chomping at the bit to get going, having not played a single match in this event yet. Fresh white T-shirt from the Frenchman, I appreciate that. We certainly do. And his opponent this afternoon, none other than the Raging Bull. Half time. Asal. He's at four in the world at the moment. He's had a few issues off the court with a couple of bands and what have you, but the less said about that, the better. He's certainly doing a lot of good work trying to get himself back on track. He's hungry, 22 years of age, and he's a massive talent. A lot of the fans here in Chicago will be the first time they've seen Asal on the court. So the one encounter previously this year, Florida at the Kinetic Squash Open, 38 minutes average match time, which was their only match, three games to love, that was for Mustafa Asal. Fairly straightforward, could say, we'll get into that as the match unfolds. Excited to see whether there's going to be a change in tactics and approach to this match from Bombay League when they played just so recently. Just was watching bits of that match back this morning, PJ, the, re the sorry, the match that these two played in Florida. And it just seemed, had this real feel of a training match. It was just really quite one pace. You could tell that Bon Malay was trying to slow the pace down and not let the Raging Bull go on his rampage with, with his <laughs> power and aggression. But it was pretty straightforward. The ball wasn't going into any difficult positions for him to, to make any inroads there. Well, the man that will have to try to keep this uh, Raging Bull under a little bit of control is Daniel Greco, the central referee, and Darren Manley will be his partner in crime as the VR. It's a very tough match last night for Mr Manley with Rodriguez and Gawad. So he's been slightly let off the hook today in the VR position, and there is... Mr. Rodriguez speaking Time. of sporting a bimetal Rolex. He does love his watches and his timekeepers, does Mr. Rodriguez. And this is a credit to Rodriguez. He's had an, a, a result that obviously didn't go his way last night. And he was up at nine o'clock this morning doing some clinics for some of the members of the club here, Lisa. I mean, that's absolutely fantastic and, yeah. uh, and, a, and a testament to his character no it's great to see there was a number of professionals that signed up for that and didn't actually turn up and he was there at the crack of dawn I saw him there and he, I tell you he had his work cut out he was dripping dripping in sweat <laughs> after the clinic yeah <laughs> fantastic way to recover really because it wouldn't have been too difficult but it would have been a nice run around to get the blood flowing play will start in 30 seconds Coach Kiki in the corner, Staffa Sal, Alexandria. Play will start in 15 seconds. We've been commenting all week just how busy the crowds have been here in Chicago. Win the City Open 2024, presented by the Walter family. Men's round three match, Sebastian Beaumalet of France to serve, Mustafa Asal of Egypt to receive. Best of five games, love all. So Beaumalet gets this 
first men's match of today's play underway, and that is a pretty slick start. One low. I mean, talk about coming out of the gates with all guns blazing. Yes, let. Yeah, it's One promising low. signs for Bommelay because, as I alluded to in the introduction, it wasn't there wasn't really much aggression and power and intent on hitting the ball like that in a match in Florida. Looking to more slow the pace down and slow ball the straight Thank drives you. through, but because the quality wasn't quite Too there, low. it left us out in really easy positions to hit whatever shot he wanted from wherever in the court. There was far too many options available to him in that match. I think that comes along with the fact that and out, when you have one, somebody two. burst on the scene like Asal and players having an opportunity to play them, it sometimes takes a couple of outings to experience what their strengths and weaknesses are on the court. So, I mean, as you said at the beginning, you were interested to see how he adapts his game plan and what he does differently compared to the previous yeah. meeting. And maybe looking back on that, he felt that he was a bit too passive. Too old. Are you okay? He's taken one in the in the mouth okay. there. Yeah. Bumalai. This tournament historically hasn't been too um, yeah. too kind to players and their teeth. <laughs> too old. Yusuf Solomon. Solomon had a couple of shockers. Didn't see anything untoward there, really, but. I think we're already seeing a bit of a difference in the body language from Bon Malay and what is also quite interesting for the freshman is because he's going to have to go out of his comfort zone here because naturally he's quite the a right. rhythmic, Three, and slow kind of Play play box. around the court, but he's, he's going to have to completely flip that on his head here this afternoon. Yeah, just looking at that body language, as you said, he's the willingness to push up the court, take the ball early and get on the volley. And that's a very physically demanding style, as you said. That's a fantastic finish. Poor service, you could say, by Asal, Asal standards. But how long can he go and sustain out with that comfort zone? That's the question. How accurate can he be as well? Because trying to rev up the pace a little bit more than your natural game, yeah. you're going to have to sacrifice a bit of quality, and that's the last thing you want to do yes, against Mustafa yeah. Asal. So it's trying to find the balance there. Well, it's a slightly shaky start from Mustafa Asal. Four As three. Said, it's the first time. It's his first match of this tournament. He was due to play Rory Stewart in his in his first round. Unfortunately, Rory fell to some food poisoning. Three and out four five. Yeah, it's a nice change of body shape from Mustafa Asal there. James Wilstrop 
for the last ooh, four days, I could say. A bit of time for the track now under the tutelage of the former world number one. I had a good chat with James uh, Four or five. two days ago about the work he's doing with Mustafa. And oh, do tell us. I'm not going to give too much away, but it involves a, lo a lot of talking, a lot of oh, video analysis and a lot of talking. And uh, he's, uh, he's, I think they're making a lot of progress and it's starting to filter through. And it's been a very eye-opening for Mustafa as well to look at his own game. I mean, you can see it, though. Yeah. Tournament champions as well. Florida, you can see the improvements, out. the changes that have been made, definitely. Yeah. And out six Still do four. feel like there's a bit of a harsh tone being taken at times and, and a slightly Take unjustified seats, decisions, but 100%. I think that's because of the history that's, that's been made. Absolutely, yeah. And that'll just take its time. It's possibly the best decision he's made in his career. Switching to do some work with James Wilstrop. Certainly, if he wants longevity in this game. That's massive. Wow. I don't think he's got that. I mean, that is a hell of a skid mark. Oh, wow. Where's that come from? His racket. The white on the it court. Must have been, it must have been the racket. Man, Are you okay? A whopping, whopping great skid mark as he comes in here. Oh, it's already there. there. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, I saw that, but it's a no let. Player review, Asal, on the no let decision. That's an unbelievable pick up from Asal. So we're going to see a video review. The original decision was a no let as this counter drop comes in from Bommelay. He slips over there, he's gone through, he's played the... Well, the thing is, he's accepted. It's hard has though, has isn't he it, accepted it's the hard interference? Though, That's the I mean, question. He's Because he's kind of knocked off before he plays the ball. Yeah, he's fallen over. No let, this is Chappelle. Asal has one review remaining. Bomale on the left, 7-4. Great start for the Frenchman. Yeah, it's, I was, we were talking about this yesterday when uh, Lionel Cardenas played Ali Farag. I spent the entire time just sort of talking about Farag and ad admiring <laughs> the way he was playing. But, and then you kind of forget a little bit about the, the fact that their opponents are actually playing ex extremely good squash. I nearly yeah. beat him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 8-4. Great start, as you said. I think what helps in this situation, right? here right now is also the fact that Bromley has had two matches. You know, he's worked his way well into this tournament. He's been here, he's already competed. So he's already in that fighting zone. Whereas, that's amazing. That is amazing. Well, that is slick. 9-4. Sal, on the other hand, has just been hanging around, hitting some balls with James <laughs> Wolstrop. You know, he's not really had to get in that fighting mentality yet. It's great recovery from the Frenchman. He's trying to do him on that flick again. Needs to not get carried away because he's been really smart with the shot selection and been really out. patient and disciplined. And that just kind of unraveled in that rally a little Hand bit. out. Yes. Hand out. Five nine. feel Asal's just not quite got that burning fire in his belly yet. It's almost, you can almost hear, hear the, the cogs whirring away. And out, ten, he's, he's five, trying to process so much, ball. isn't he? What, what he? He's trying to revert back to his original ways, but he, he knows that he, he has to do it within a certain restriction. It's, it's quite tough for him, you can tell. Paint out, 6-10, game ball. Get there. So also the fact that Bommelay is playing completely different to how he was just a few weeks ago, which will have totally thrown us out. A lot more aggressive. 
really taking the game to him here quite an attacking way and he wasn't doing that he was very passive as you said in Florida stroke to Asa 7-10 game ball Out. Yeah, close out. Yeah, Get up to seven. First game. game to Bomale. Bomale, France. Bomale leads one game to low. So he's throwing a cat amongst the pigeons as the Egyptian heads off to his corner. Pretty quick in duration, 11 minutes. Mustafa Asal trailing by one game to love. Yeah, credit to the Frenchman. He's really come out the traps, firing here. He's taken a lot from that game in Florida. It was a much slower pace. Not much bite to his hitting at all, but here he's really aggressive with his line and length hitting and his attacks into the front of the court. He's been di disciplined and patient at the right moment, Out. throwing the ball into the front and taking Mustafa style by surprise. This shot here, fantastic strength across the middle of the court and the deceptive flick, that's absolutely beautiful. Mustafa Sal yet to get into top gear. Play will resume in 60 seconds. So there you see the sales coach just trying to give him some positive reinforcements. I do feel, Lisa, he, he does need to increase his own tempo a little bit. It, it's just a little bit um, cautious at the moment for yeah. the South. He's, he's simmering over, isn't he? That's what I'm, I'm feeling about the yeah. fire in the belly. It's yeah. not quite, you know, he's it's not, not there as, yet. It's not like as lively on his toes even as much as he usually is. Yeah. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Beaumalay leads one game to love. Love all. So Bommelaire France serving with a one love lead now. It's accurate. Very accurate. One love. That's a nice finish from Assault. Tight work on the initial drive down the backhand side. Slightly loose from Bommelay, but then the finish. What is it? Quite superb. The racket? And he did broken it with a broken racket. string. Player has time to change the equipment. Well, Ben spanked the new racket straight out of the wrapper. Quite bizarre. Original grip, original strings, <laughs> obviously Technifiber strings, which a lot of the players are using these days. Other brands are available. But he's literally just peeled off the plastic covering on the grip and he's straight back out there. That's quite bizarre. That is very bizarre. I could, I mean, I could you... never play with the original no, no, grip no, on the racket. No way, not the factory oh, grip, absolutely not. No chance. Very unusual. I mean, players typically have, well, anything between three and six, seven rackets maybe in their bag, but usually, you know, they've had a hit with at least three or yeah. four of them. They know they know which one they're going to use next yeah. if there is a, a break in the equipment. I've seen them do that before, though. Take just one fresh out the packet. Straight in. I mean, the last thing you okay. want to be doing in this moment right now Myself is fiddling the right. with some plastic on well, the grip. But the right. Hand out. You, you have done all. that before. 
I'm pretty sure they'll be uh, pre-strung to his preferred tension assault. Slippage from the Egyptian. Stroke to Assal. 2 1. I'm paying attention, yeah? 2 1. That's yeah, absolutely lovely. Yeah, I mean, it was slightly high, quite safe, but extremely Three tight. One. Hit very, very hard. Doesn't look quite right to me. Yeah, a little bit flat. Yeah, I can't take my eyes off the face. I just feel like there's something not quite right. Looks really flat. Up. He's poked up a little bit here in the second, four racing one. off to a 4 1 lead. A good response from Assault. Stroke to Assault. Yeah, but there is no line to the ball. The ball landed in the middle of the court. Right box, 5-1. Fortunately, not quite deep or short enough. Yeah, kind of that That's no man's deep. land, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure where to move here to start for a cell. He's trying to clear and create a line, but in doing so, he's moved so far away from the open space that he was just asking to be hit from Bommelay. Very good from yeah. the Frenchman. He's bossing the middle of the court at the moment. I was gonna, just going to say, he's reading him really well. This is allowing him to get onto the ball early and volley. His weight of shot's been really good as well. Just forcing a foul, that extra bit deeper in the court. Fortunate bounce. Good way of shot, Paint though. Out. Terrific. 6 yeah. 3. Not over hit. Just always tumbling away. Down. Oh, he's lucky there because that return of serve was a bit rolled. Eight out, four, six. It's a couple of times he's gone front right with quite a flat racket face assault. It's going to break down a little bit under pressure. He's got to try and keep that touch more open. Barely hitting the ball hard at all here. So. Yeah. That's I mean, that look. was quite an odd rally, Eight really, out, because seven, there was no four. pace or yeah. power from anyone. not typical hitting from a sal that we see i mean don't want to bang on too much about that match in florida but he really outpowered out. eight four in that and that had such an effect because it rushed him here he's just quite happy to push the ball down the line go with it
And out five eight. I mean, perhaps, PJ, the fact that it is so cold in here. You told me off air that this morning, early and doors, the, wind, the window was five. open, yeah. freezing. Quickly, I mean, it's freezing outside today. It's cir air circulating You're around in here. Front, so perhaps Asal's just taking a little bit too long. Nine trying to five. take the pace off to make sure that he gets the length through because what can happen on a really cold, dead court, if you're just hitting the ball with a lot of power and pace, it doesn't actually travel through the court very well on yep. a cold court. 10-5, game ball. It certainly is chillier in here today. So five game balls for Mustafa to bring things to an equal score line. Out. And that's tight. Five game to Asal. One game all. So the response from Asal, quite apparent. Bommelay needs to get back to that intense hitting that we saw in the first, just nine minutes in that second game. 22 minutes on the clock total. We're locked in at one game apiece. Yeah, much needed for Mustafa Asal. It's, it's funny because last time these two played, it was as if Bommelay was trying to slow the pace down and take the sting out of the hitting from Asal. It's almost like Asal was trying to do the reverse there. Bommelay not as aggressive in his hitting. Trying to get stuck in with the volleys. One game he's aggressive hitting into the front of the court, but Asal's not really allowing him to do it. I'm not convinced that Asal is feeling 100% in this match, but at the minute he's finding a way. It's a great slow-mo there, just still showing how dangerous Bommelay can be. And here from Asal, good position in the middle of the court. Bommelay trapped behind, just tidying up into the front. We have a match on our hands now. Two completely different approaches with the coaching methods between these two. Very cool, calm and collected here, the French coach, just chatting away with Sebastian. And whereas Kiki, a sales coach, just a little bit more animated. Yeah, I just wonder if he's trying to just rev him up a little bit more. Obviously. 15 seconds. On the topic of squash coaches, to send a big shout out to One game Damien ball. Burgess, who's ah, to serve. down at uh, Sponkin Aberystwyth, down in Wales, doing some fantastic things down there with the junior programs. Got over 50 kids now. Caught up with Damien at the uh, Masters, the, the British Masters up in Nottingham earlier this month, and. Uh, bit of a chat and an insight as to what he's doing down there which is absolutely superb so yeah, yeah he touched yeah. keep up the good work Damien and I uh, hope you're enjoying this uh, terrific Windy City Open one low <laughs> yes lad one low Tempo's gone up a little bit here, start of this third game, and that is rapid. Lovely straight. This is pressure. It was contact there. Oh, we're good there.
Yeah, but that was still minimum. Huh? Was minimal interference there. Do you want the review? No, no, it's a review on any decision. Okay. Too low. I think he was asking just to have a look at the the, the racket grab. Has he grabbed his racket just there? Mm, well, this is the problem. You, you alluded to it earlier that when pretty earlier on he's, he's been nailed for certain things with his behaviour and certain situations, the hand grabbing and the racket grabbing and. and Sometimes he's unfairly targeted, in my opinion. Did you referee see decision there. on Asal's appeal, looking at the distance of the ball in relation to the players? It's a very high drop shot from Bommelie. But again, also here from Mustafa, eh? I think he... Is he trying to create a line? I think, given the shot from Bommelay there, that is his only line. I don't know. No let. Mr. Asal. Wow. I definitely want to say it was a no let. We felt wow. that you went for the player and the ball was short. So we need you to make more it's effort. It's the quality to go of drop shot, the PJ. It wasn't, wasn't good enough for that to be one, a no let. Two. It's never a no let. This is, what, this is where I feel they're not taking the full context. Yeah. Got to take into consideration the, the drop shot that Bombalay has played. Therefore, what is the line? Two all. Nothing separates these two. Early on in this third. better from a sound. It's clever. That's a carry. Yeah. That's Thinking a huge carry. Ball. Absolutely huge now for the Frenchman. Oh. 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 Clip the top of the tin. I thought that counter drop just clipped the tin. That's a big carry. Yeah. And out. Ball, three two. Stayed on that racket strings for too long. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's he's flowing. Got it's flowing. Blood Please. coming from his leg. Get it treated. The right, right Mr. knee. Mr. Assel has a blood injury. Yeah. This is the last thing he'll want no, because come, he was just starting out, to build some good momentum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just. We'll try to use your towel. Let's see yeah, if that stops. Yeah, he'll need to give that a dab. Can't leave it trickling down the leg. He's just finding his groove here, I feel, PJ. I agree. Just starting to get into the match. It's good. You, also, okay. you almost feel like he needs a match yeah, like this. Okay. I mean, Thanks. pardon the pun, just to get bloodied a little bit and get into the heart of the tournament. That was brilliant. See what you did there. Yeah. Three, two. Down. He was unlucky there. Four, two.
he's just stood on that a touch. Yes, led. Just stood on the ball a little bit. Sal could have cleared more blood coming from the Is leg. Running. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it treated. Just a little plaster, yeah. a little band-aid. Sort that right it's out. It's going to be really Sir annoying. Sal has a blood injury, self-inflicted blood injury. He's got up to five minutes to cover the wound. It's not coming out really fast. Just a wrap oh, a little a bit trickle. of yeah. a little bit of tape round that. Even will stop that. I wonder where it's come from. It's a scratch, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's just Maybe the butt of his racket. Yeah. Obviously not from shaving his legs this morning, because you can see that. So as Mustafa Asal is just receiving some treatment on the light scratch on the right leg. He's obviously moved up to Pontefract now, doing some very good work with James Wallstrop and trying to tidy up certain aspects of his game, Lisa. And we've often talked about how at times he's unfairly targeted with certain previous situations that have happened. And we're just going to take a quick look here at the potential accusation of a hand grab. Yeah, there was an evident... Uh, cry, you could say, from Bommelé that he grabbed his hands there. But it looks less like a hand grab and more just his arm was just there and then is caught. It's whether is that left arm intentionally trying to go into the path of Bommelé, but I feel that we just get caught going down a rabbit hole of nothing. That's a natural reaction yeah. to me. It's just he's using that um, the, the left hand as a bit of a guide, as a bit of a balancing tool. There's no actual grab in that particular situation. So, you know, you've got to feel for Asal sometimes. I mean, some, some of the behavior, even he has accepted himself. He knows now he, he can't be behaving in that particular way. And he's trying. You've got, you've got to give the guy a little bit of... No, I totally agree with you. I, I felt this all of TLC. Um, yeah. Yes. You know, the matches that we weren't commentating were stood stood kind of on the overhead from a bird's eye view watching and you can see the movements crystal clear and I just feel he was he was getting hard done by really by the referees and that but it that's it comes from comes from what's happened doesn't it yeah I think what, what we're trying to or what he's trying to do right now sorry is that he's trying to think about all of these things <laughs> and the areas of improvements that he needs, how to move here, where yep. to move here, where to, how to move off the ball, and everything's so unnatural to him. And then throw on top the game plan, the tactics, <laughs> trying to control the, the emotions as well. It's, yep. it's, it's very difficult, but... Yeah. He's rewiring, isn't he? He's rewiring, but a lot yeah. of people, yeah. you know, yeah. most people will say he's brought that upon himself. So yeah. that's just part of the process, which I do yeah. agree with. <laughs> well, that is a whopping great knee sock. But a tiny little scratch for us out. Fortunately, the rules have changed. Previously, had there been any, any further showing of blood at this point, he would have to forfeit the game. Yeah, you used to see um, us get the, the black sharpie out and try and just colour right, over just the area so you, so you wouldn't see, see the blood. Yeah. This tuba grip that he's got on the right leg was just to hold that plaster in place more than anything. Yeah. The dynamic movements that he's going to be doing, I think that's going to really annoy him because it's going to it's not almost not long enough so it's going to fall down yeah i mean it just looks so yeah, much worse doesn't it seats, tiny little scratch and he's had to go to those lengths to get it sorted out i mean the worst thing for sal actually is the fact that it completely clashes Ready? with his all black kit <laughs> matches the racket though sal on the left 4-2. After quite a lengthy break, Asal serving 4-2 lead. But 
tied up at one game all. In two miles there <laughs> for sure. Nice change of pace from Bomberley. Oh my goodness, what a movement and what a counter drop that Five, was. Two. I don't know if he's hurt his leg doing this, but oh, PJ, That's that is joke. so good. That is a joke. Just fiddled around with that right leg there. That's the thing when you come off court with a blood injury, it's freezing. Sit down in the background, please. Maybe he's just Thank gone you. a bit cold Five, in the two. legs. Terrific lob from Bommelay. Again, slightly flat with the racket face on that drop on the forehand. We're mentioning the fact that Asal was hitting more of a slower pace than the line PJ. Do you think that's James Wilstrop? Influence. The subtleties and the, the purpose. Yeah. Yeah, the and difference just conserving in weight. energy a bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. Not putting absolutely everything into every ball. Bit of frustration there for Bommelay. He's, he's having to go the long way round at times. Thank you. Do you think? He's having to go the long way around because Sal's taking the wrong line off two. the ball, or just. I, I, I do, and I, this is this is not a blame of Sal. I just think it's because he's so cautious now of where he's supposed to be moving. There's almost a delay and a hesitation, and not coming out of it the way he would do normally. It, it's uh, it's just a little, a little bit different from him. I don't think he's blocking, and it, it, it's not purposeful. It's almost like a, a lack of awareness, or he's not sure where he should be going. Down. 7-2. Yeah, I agree. You can definitely see it. Down. 8-2. Slightly. Nearly. Made out 3 8. Lisa, we're talking about this reputation that Mustafa has amongst all the fans, the players, and punditry. How long do you think it will take him to clear his name, so to speak, and get the haters back on his side? Because obviously, he's such a wonderful talent and a massive addition. Mr. Bomale, his movement is fine. You're leaving the ball mid-core, so please stop. Sorry, just listening to the explanation here just, from Mr. Yes, Greco. But, but you're leaving the ball mid-core. That's why he could play the ball from there. Just stop with the look at the movement, look at the movement, please. What would you say you feel he and needs to do and nine, how three. long potentially could it take I mean, it's to, to win him over? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, ideally you want, obviously, that it, all of those behaviours, those little subtle things that were going on, to never happen again. And then it's literally a matter of time for people to just be focusing yes, on his squash, talking Nine, about three. his squash for, for a period of time. But, I mean, with, with everything that's going on in the bands... You have to accept the decision. Huh? Do you want a review or do you want to accept the decision? I'm always accepting this is the first time. The ball is running away from you. That's why I said that. Nine, three. If he hits that. It's just 
just to finish answering your question, PJ, I just feel like because there was so much that went on with the ban and everything, you, yeah. you're talking, you're probably talking a full season. Minimum. Oh, let us all get on court and let us squash do the talking. Yeah. And yeah. then, unfortunately, it's gonna, there is going to be an element of forever. Yes. Or as soon as something happens, yeah. even remotely similar. Or even the slightest thing is now going to be a little bit more exaggerated and, and spoken about because of, because of the past. So Player review, Asal. So we're talking very about it here. I mean, again, just watch the movement of Asal. This is what he's been pinged for. He's trying to get out of the way, but he's actually moved in the way. He's, you can see he's trying his best to clear, but he actually clears with more of a shuffle into the opponent, which could be deemed... He hasn't done this on purpose. It's just that he's just not sure. Yeah, no, this is... He, he's, he's not, not, he's not sure. doing anything deliberate here. He's no. just trying to... As you say, he's trying to clear, but in fact, unfortunately, he's clear to the he left. He looks like not he's clearing backwards. into the opponent, yeah. There's, there's too Strokes much the impact Bonnelli. there on the arm this is of Bonnelli. Has, had, has no reviews There's no way remaining. that you can hit that. We came to the conclusion that you cleared into your opponent's line to the ball. Hand out, 4-9. He is trying. <laughs> I, do, I feel really sorry for him because he's really trying. Oh, that's, that's power. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, the agility and, and athleticism for somebody of that stature to get in. I mean, just oof, absolutely inch perfect. Fine drive. Six game balls now to take a 2-1 lead. Well, that's a joke. That three unbelievable Game shots in succession as from the South. Starting to one. release himself on court here. Takes the 2 1 advantage. Bommelay requesting a new ball. 20 minute third game due to the blood injury. Mr. Bommelay has lead requested a new ball, Mustafa which is Asal. title two. Well, the new ball coming in is only going to favor the Frenchman because Mustafa Asal is really coming into his own and you can see shots like this he's, he's now using his speed and aggressive movement to get onto the ball and pump it into space and it's just really devastating the temperature in here and the temperature of the ball so we're going to have a much livelier game next and you can just see this match ball here Classic Asal rally, really coming into his own, doing what he does best. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Fifteen seconds. As this is a new ball, the players have, have time to warm it up. So obviously with the new ball, players will take uh, probably two to three minutes. Especially how hard they hit, well, maybe quicker the way Comelay's going, but just to bring it up to playing temperature. The crowd will certainly enjoy this. It's another full house here at the Cathedral Hall on the ninth floor of the University Club in downtown Chicago. 
terrific attendance all week. Asal leads two games to one. Asal to serve. Low ball. Oh, yeah. One low. Revving it up. That's a very tough uh, movement. Yeah, it certainly was. Too low. It was bold to hit it back into the corner he's just come from, Bombele, but the sheer pace, just too much. Yes, led. Too low. feel that James Wolf drop will look to do a touch more work on the forehand drop of Mustafa Asal. Just coming in very kind of close racket face. Can't really see any leading edge as he takes it into that area. Almost pushes it a bit. Yeah, so the ball's never good. Just sitting, popper short out. into that corner. He's cutting the side wall a lot because of that yeah. at the minute. Three love. Oh, that's a gift. Mm. It's poor serve again. Four low from a salt. Ferris would have been the best all match, really. No. Think of the shots that Bombalay has been able to hit off the off the serve. Again, yes, I'm sure that will be on the to-do list for Wilstrop. That looked a little bit, uh, a little bit wonky. Looked like a double in that front left-hand corner. Peter referee, can we please check uh, Mr. Assel's pick up on the front left? My initial thought was he hasn't got this. I mean, he's gone yeah, in a, a rate of knots. But it looked a decent drop. Initially, backhand volley drop comes in from Bommelé. Oh, he's, he's got, got it. it. <laughs> he's got it by miles. He has got it. All right, Absolutely PJ. miles. Yeah, he has. It was a fantastic shot from Bommelé. Brilliant. Little to no backswing at all. Stops so short. It's how quick he's up and out of it and then back into the rally. He wouldn't have got that in the first game. No. No chance. No. Four low. He's finally arriving at this tournament now. Four love. Four games in. Sorry, you're right. It's five love from the left. Oof. Five love on the left. from Bommelé. Look how much he's trying to get onto the volley. This is what he did in the first, isn't it, Lisa? Exactly. We haven't he even heard this kind of rally, if you know what I mean. Yep. Pace up the front wall, the earliest in the hitting. The thing is, though, PJ Asal wasn't quite Six low. at the races in the first game, so it was really effective. Now it's kind of almost just playing into his hands. Absolutely. Well, he's feeling it physically. But that's all he's got to do. These are the places he's got to take himself. He's, he's going to have any joy. 
against the salt. You're not happy with that four-hand no, drop, are all. you? Not at all. <laughs> Every flat like face seven, he comes yeah, under the circumference of the ball, he actually hits up onto it and it pops up onto the front. It was glued to the side wall, though. Yeah, true. True. That's better. No such Eight issue low. on the backhand side for us out. And he's found his groove, finally. Stroke to Bommelay. Paint out, 1-8. Finally, a point on the board for the Frenchman. Stroke to Bommelay. Nice hits him. Has to be. 2 8. Looked as though he looked into sure the corner there for me. I'm sure if the video eight. ref sees this. You're good. Continue, please. Continue, that's what it means. 2 8. Yeah, there's the contact. Well, that got the full treatment. In doubt, 9 2. You have to feel that Rafa Sal is to get through this, which looks like he will. He'll be taking a lot from this game only. Sure, yeah. Yep. Wheels are Focus firmly on the positives, two, as they match say. Ball. Eight match balls for Asal to book his place into the quarterfinals. Even though it's only his first match of this tournament. Down. He's trying to go out with a bang. Unlucky there Nine from Bombay. Terrific effort Three from the Frenchman. We got stuck into him. We're stuck for a sale today. Bit of a wake up call for the Raging Ball. Seven minute, fourth game, 54 minutes. Total match time, and it's Mustafa Assal taking down Bommelaire France by three games to one. And we're now going to head down courtside to hear from Mustafa and Bill Buckingham. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for Francis Sebastian Bommelaire. And advancing to the quarterfinals here in Chicago from Egypt, Mustafa Asal. Congratulations, Mustafa. A little bit of a slow start. Not the Sebastian Bamala you saw in Florida. A little harder first game, but then vintage Mustafa Asal games two, three, and four, and you're on to the quarters in Chicago. Yeah, definitely. It's just a slow start for me today. Uh, it's difficult, you know, when you play like a tournament, like first match, uh, like the third round. So <laughs> it felt like I'm in a different tournament or, or coming as a coach, you know. So, uh, uh, yeah, I wish um, uh, Rory Stewart, uh, you know, quick uh, recovery from, from what happened to him, actually. And uh, definitely Sebastian is a really good player. He's sharp, he's fast. And uh, I don't like to play at the mornings, actually. Like, it's, uh, it's really difficult for me, you know. <laughs> Uh, I just woke up at like 10.30 and uh, doing like three, three, four alarms, five alarms, you know, and, uh, you know, my father's saying to me, you know, come, uh, there is a match, you know, so it's, uh, it's really difficult. And, um, yeah, I played short today. I was uh, uh, nervous at the beginning, but, uh, yeah, I'm so happy with this, actually. In the, in the second game, you broke your strings, and we were surprised you went over to your bag and pulled out a factory racket. Still in the wrapper. Very unusual for a professional player to do that. Talk about that. Yeah, actually, like, w w when the string is gone for me, it's just, that's it for the racket, like, uh, or even the grip. So I guess Technifiber is having uh, really problems with me if, <laughs> because of that, you know. But, uh, yeah, I love that, and I get used into it, and uh, I'm really looking forward for my week here. I want to actually thank my coaches, uh, like, uh, 
Hamad Akaya for sure, and uh, James Wilson. You know, James Wilson is, couldn't make it today because he's ill. So um, I wish him a speedy recovery. And for sure, uh, you know, it's them, my, uh, my old coach. He came here to Chicago, and um, uh, I'm really happy to be stepping on this court for my first time playing here in, in front of you guys in the university. So uh, I'm always looking at this tournament. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations, Mustafa. You're on to the quarterfinals in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, from Egypt, Mustafa Asal. Well, that explains a lot then. Mustafa Asal, not long out of bed, and you can definitely tell that losing the first game, but also all credit to Sebastian Bombalay, really changed the tactics from their last meeting in Florida, came out the traps firing, taking the game to Asal, really aggressive. And then finally, the covers came off, the duvet was pulled to the bottom, and Asal arrived at the, pa at the party, back with his aggressive hitting, his aggressive movements, and just really limiting everything that Bombalay had to offer today. The bandage on his leg is just due to a little blood injury, nothing to worry about for him. head out as the crowd head out to get some refreshments and a quick toilet break coming up next very shortly it's all about Egypt Salmahani taking on Nuran Gohar the Terminator so don't go away <laughs> 